Hi there, I'm Barb Owen of Barb Owen Designs, and today we're going to explore the ruffler, the gathering foot, and just generally how to gather fabric. When I was a little girl, my mom had a, an old, well, she bought it new, but it's old now, of course, an old black Singer sewing machine, and that was what I first learned to sew on. And she had this box of attachments and feet and all this stuff they did all these fancy things and you know she never learned how to do anything with those because it wasn't important to her i on the other hand really like figuring all that stuff out and i think it's fun to see what you can do and and out of all of the attachments that were in that box the one that i really enjoy the most was the gathering foot or the ruffler that she had uh she also had a gathering foot that she never used but the ruffler was this thing that looked kind of like a I don't know it looked like a monster it was such a big thing and so I love learning how to do that and what you do with it and where you could use it and all that kind of stuff and my mom thought that was pretty cool too once I figured it out she was like well yeah that's pretty neat you know so let me show you some of the ways some of the things that we're gonna explore today uh, this is a block in a quilt I'll show you the whole quilt later on <clears throat> but this is a block from the quilt that uses the gathering foot to make different aspects of this block. This is puffing, and this is a ruffle that's gathered, and there's another kind of ruffled gather. All, whoops, you couldn't even see that. Sorry about that. All of these are done with using what's called a gathering foot. Then uh, on this side over here in the next block, these things are all done using the ruffler. And so this is one kind of ruffle this is another kind of ruffle, and this is yet another one. And these are all um, actually the a better term from for the ruffler would be a pleater, um, but that's what these these are done with. So we're going to come over here to um, to the machine, and I'm going to show you how to do some different kinds of gathering and ruffling and so forth. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you if you didn't have any kind of fancy foot at all, you just had just the basic, basic um, sewing machine that you too could still gather fabric. And here is an example of gathered fabric. Let me take my note off here so I can show you. Here is just a basic gathered fabric. So this would be like if you gathered it, you might even be able to see a little bit better on the back side, like you were gathering <clears throat> a skirt or uh, the cap of a gathered sleeve or something like that. Or it might be a ruffle, you know, it could be any of that. But you know, what do you do if you don't have anything but just a basic sewing machine? So that's what we're going to do to start with. <clears throat> 